Right, here we are back for part two of my Incredible Mansion um, based off the Incredibles 2 movie. If you missed part one, that's up on my channel. Um, go and check it out. Um, so in this part, we're going to finish off the build. Um, so we've got to finish furnishing all the rooms and decorating um, and just finalize the building so it's all done. Um, I've been really happy with how the build's been going. Um, and I think it turns out quite well. Um, yeah, the decor and the style of this place, um, I think it came out quite well. Uh, so at the moment we're doing the main living room, which is the big, really big large room at the back of the build. It's kind of the star of the show, if you will. Um, I went through so many uh, iterations <laughs> of what I wanted here. Initially I started with red because popping, but then I thought, no, it's too much. So I went for this and I really, I fell in love with this rug. I really love the colors in this rug. I think they really fit the theme uh, with the blue uh, blue shades and the yellows and the oranges. I think they, they hit the mid-century theme really well. So I wanted that, but I did struggle with uh, what um, lounges to put there. So again, that's not the, um, that's not what we end up with, but that'll, that'll come up when we get there. Um, so yeah, this is our kitchen. Uh, I think I mentioned last time I did keep in theme. So the build is based off the Incredibles and I've you know taken inspiration from a few pictures that were online uh, and they had a bright yellow kitchen um, in their house. So we went with yellow um, and just working on the layout to try and fit it in to this little nook here. Uh, I tried to put some cupboards along this side, but seen at the moment that wasn't working for me so I ended up switching it up a bit um, yeah we switch it all around so that it just fit better this way um, because I had the wall there where I could jump things up against whereas on the other side it's open with the railing um, so it just wasn't working um, in the in the movie they had like a blue fridge um, this one's more of like a, a pale green I think um, but it's still fits the mold. They've got a really big massive kitchen here so yeah it's a great space to, to cook and hang out. Now uh, it is pretty pretty out there with the yellow I have to say. Um, yeah I think it came to came together well in the end. I'm trying to make a little divide there so that there's a little section for where the fridge goes. Now uh, popping in our different bits and pieces here. Uh, I just went with the, the matching stove that matches the fridge. Um, again, so this is a um, limited pack build. So I was I was trying not to use all of the packs. So in the end, we used um, Seasons, Get Famous, uh, Growing Together, uh, and a couple of the other packs have a few little bits and pieces, but they're the main ones. So if you've got those packs, then it most of the build will work for you. Um, and I chose those packs because they had a lot of uh, mid-century design furniture and pieces in them that I wanted to use. Um, so it gave me a bit of variety to decorate. Now I'm going through now and putting in the, the final bits and pieces for the kitchen. Um, it was such a long and like wide, like long and wide area around this section. And it was kind of hard to furnish it and balance it. So we had the kitchen up in that end and then we'll do the dining room uh, sort of a bit closer and then there's up the other end of the hallway there's not much room anyway because of the, the rocks that come into the house. And obviously it wasn't happy with those curtains. I don't think we went with many curtains in this house. I kept it nice and open. I mean like with that massive view. Sorry I hope you can't hear this like bikes going past outside. Um, in the main living area at the back with that massive like panoramic view I wanted it to be quite open and also because that room has so much glass in it that's quite bright so I didn't want the rest of the rooms to be too dull um yeah so here we are moving on to the the dining room now um, I really love these chairs the ICC um co co collaboration that they did with EA um one of my favorites. Um, yeah, so quite a bit of yellow in this build. It's kind of a theme that goes throughout. Like it's the whole thing isn't yellow, um, but yeah, there are yellow touches. Um, I thought I'd do a little custom 
um, dining hutch cabinetry thing here just to fill in a bit of the wall space. Um, I do actually end up changing the color because it was getting to be too much yellow. I'm thinking, oh my God, this whole build is going to be yellow. Um, but yeah, this one came together pretty well. It's just um, putting a few different pieces together to fill in that wall. It gives you something else to look at because those other windows I put on that back wall, I mean, you can't look at them because there's the, the mound right there. So it's just dirt. Um, but I liked that uh, at certain times of the day, the light would come in just to get a little bit more natural light so that you're not completely like enclosed and claustrophobic. Um, just going through now and trying to find what will actually fit on these shelves, which is always a process. Yeah. And yeah, we're very limited and you know, there's some things that look like they'll fit on a shelf, but it's, it's you know, a matter of going through and checking them all and looking at them all to see what we can fit in. I thought that little picture looked pretty good there. Yeah, as I said, we do change this all to orange eventually. Again, like with the previous um, part of this build, I left a lot of my choices in, so you can see that I'm, you know, there's certain spots where I struggle and you know, I'm going back and forth with different things, but that's kind of my process. And I, yeah, I don't always know exactly what I want to do. So I left a bit of that in so you can see how things kind of started and how they evolved. It's a different um, lounge there. Um, so this is just me giving you a little bit of an overview. I lost some footage, so we went through and I, I had finished the the bathroom and this little area. My game froze again, so I had to rebuild it. We just did a little uh, mud room type thing at the back there. Um, I finished all the bathrooms. Mm. This is going to get really annoying with everything going past. Sorry, that was an ambulance. Um, I finished all the bathrooms off camera because uh, the main bathroom downstairs was, I did a little bit different, which was sort of green and browns. But then the rest of the bathrooms are all this like beigey and brownie color, like very 70s, and you know, I think it just fit the vibe. Uh, so this room we're doing now is sort of more like a, a teenager or young adults room. Um, all of the bedrooms in this house have an ensuite, uh, and they're all really good sized rooms. Um, so in this one we want sort of this peachy sort of pinky theme. Um, just to change it up from the yellow. And again, I think it like it suits well with the, the mid-century vibe. Um, popping in a big rug there and sites it up to try and fill up some of the room. Uh, it's a thing though, when you make really massive rooms, like to try and fill them up and make them look, you know, like they're not completely empty. It's a bit of a challenge. Uh, I realized there that I, I think I'd used um, some side tables from a pack that I wasn't including. I was, oh gosh, I'm going to have to be really careful in this process here of going through and like selecting just the packs that I want. I did that so many times. Like, it's really frustrating. Um, and then we, we, we are quite limited with, um, I feel like base game needs an update with what we can put on the, uh, some like wall art because what we have there is very, very basic and yeah. You know, we need more choices. In the end, I went for that one that was leaning on the ground and a couple of all of those um, wardrobes. I think the, the colors there fit in really well. And then just some some plants. And I think we pop in some, some lighting as well, just to finish off this room. I didn't go too heavy. I probably could have put more light on the walls, but I tried to keep it um, as minimal as I could, because it is a really big build, so it was going to end up being too big and it would get really lacky if you have too much clutter. Um, so yeah, we're obviously into the library study now, which has turned out to be quite a long section. Um, but I put lots of spots to sit and read and a few little, there's a couple of little study nooks as well. So uh, this house is built for a family, so if you Kids can do their homework at the the, tape, the um, desks in there, or you can study, and there's computers in there as well. Um, just going through now and working out the layout. Again, it was a really big room and really long, so I didn't want to 
overclutter it, but I also wanted it to feel, it had to have a bit of a library feel. Um, and then, it, yeah, originally I was going to put all the desks at one end, but I do end up changing that. It's another thing we, um, we're lacking is bookshelves. Um, I mean, obviously there's, I would have had more if I used all the packs, but yeah, it's quite limited. And then, you know, the ones that I do want to use, they don't have all the, like typical Sims, they don't have all the same wood tones in them. Um, whereas I went for this, this orangey wood throughout the house. So I had to try and make it match. So some of it doesn't probably really completely fit the mid century vibe, but I think when it's in amongst, um, with the rest of the decor, it, it works. Yes, yeah, so popping in some computers now and then annoyingly ran out of money. <laughs> and then when you're in, uh, when you go into from the map and you go straight into build mode to build, you can't add funds to the family, which is really annoying. So you have to go out, go into the family and load it and add money. Um, anyway, now I'm doing a little, I thought it'd be nice to have a little bar area here. Uh, I did try that table, which kind of suited the vibe. I don't end up using it. You can sort of, sort of see random bits and pieces as I'm going through the catalog and I find something like, oh, that'll look good somewhere. I just whack it somewhere. Um, and then some of the pieces we come back and use and the rest of it we just got rid of. Uh, but yeah, it's just a little little bar area here. And I thought it was nice that it was up on that uh, mezzanine level because you could overlook or look out to the view um, into that massive room down the back. Uh, I did want to, I do end up putting a couple more chairs up there. I wanted to fit some more in because there's not a lot of room there for entertaining, but I also didn't, again, want to um, overclutter it too much. So we, we end up just with the, the two bar stools and the two chairs. Um, I think we're, I'm looking for a rug now here, yeah, thinking about what the space needs a rug. So we go through and pop a little rug in there. Trying to find one that fits in with all the colors. Now, sort of introducing a bit of orange and keeping a little, the little touches of yellow there as well. Um, yeah, and I really wanted to use this lamp somewhere. That's really gorgeous. That lamp. I love that one. Um, I wouldn't usually use it in bright yellow, but I mean, it works with this build, I think. Um, but yeah, it definitely. The like 70s, like mid-century theme. I had to reuse a lot of plants because there wasn't a great deal of plant options. Some those bar things up on the back wall, so pinch the theme. This is back to the front entry now. Um, and again, it was such a big landing space. I'm like, I need to put something here. So I, I in the end, I went for a, another little like living or sitting area. I don't know, I guess, I mean, the overall theme of the house is that it is related to the Incredibles films and the family of spies, obviously, or secret agents. So you know, if you're having meetings or something or business, <laughs> you could use this area. Um, and again, just trying to fit it in with the theme and change the colors up a bit. So uh, more, more of those blues and oranges and it worked quite well. Yeah. Again, yeah, again with this area, it was quite large. So trying to make it feel like it wasn't too empty. I had these little pokey areas, as you can see, like up near the, right next to the entryway, which I struggled with a bit, but then I ended up putting more um, planter areas up there, uh, like we had down on the, on the bottom level in the main room. Um, I think that works well too. It kind of carries the, the theme throughout that a little bit of green inside, which is nice. I'm just readjusting our spacing here. I thought that clock to look really good. So lighting was another thing I struggled with. Um, cause when you kind of limit yourself to a theme and then limit yourself to packs, it, it does really, it gets really hard. <laughs> There's not a lot of choices, but I think we did okay in the end. Um, I definitely wanted to get that shelving piece in somewhere from get famous. Cause it really like the style of that really well. Uh, yeah, going through now and trying to find 
some plantage that'll work in here. Look at that one. Get some bits and pieces. Yeah, it's gonna change up a bit soon because then I decide, oh no, this it needs something else. Got a little spot for that. I always forget about that little vase on the little in the little corner um, display stand, but it's it's like hidden under shelving or something, so I, I don't come across it often, but I thought oh, I definitely need to use that. Now put a little rug there by the door, a little mat so you can wipe your feet as you come in. Um, and we do keep that umbrella stand, it ends up going outside, but I have to get rid of the, the coat rack. Um, yeah, you can see me here fiddling, I'm like, oh, it would be cool to add some more greenery up here and then, oh, but then where can I fit this coat rack? Because I, I kind of wanted to keep the coat, coat rack, but I think it goes in the end, yeah. And this is, this is where we go. Ah, oh, yes, I can, I can do this similar to what we had downstairs and marry it so that it carries through. Um, I think it works quite well in the end. I started with these two side pieces and then it, it just grows. It gets bigger and bigger uh, and carries through into that uh, little seating area. Um, but it kind of flows really well, I think, once we get there. A little so much with these plants. <laughs> Then I couldn't decide, do I want the pebbles, do we want uh, wood, I mean um, dirt, but yeah, I went pebble with pebbles in the end because they're a little bit cleaner. And yeah, this is where I thought, oh no, I need to make this bigger. So we even bring it out into this area. Just brings a bit of, bit of life to the place. Thinking there, I'm like, oh, can I bring it all the way through, but I didn't want to do too much. You can kind of get an idea and it's like easy to get carried away and just <laughs> go crazy with it. But yeah, sometimes got to rein it in. And yeah, still struggling with that uh, coat rack, <laughs> trying to fit it in. Um, these little tiny half walls are really versatile. It's so good because there's not many fences. The fen a lot of the really small fences that EA has in the game are like really chunky and like when you just want a small just something to divide the space up the smaller really small half wall heights are really good for that because then you can customize the color as well here's me being really finicky with the plants <laughs> I mean, they, you know, just keep pushing them back and forth and then yeah some stone around there i had to put those pillars there to hide the parts of the from out the front I struggled with that area a little bit too. Just trying to get the balance right and not overcrowd it, but you know, we don't want it to look too sparse. And then I decided it would look really good to have that clock sized up there because it really fits the theme. And I think it kind of just was the last little piece that we needed. I'm doing doing a save there because I again lost this build, so many parts of this build and so many issues, but yeah. You know, Worth it in the end, but so annoying. Then I'm just finishing the last little pieces up there. <laughs> Still not happy with the spacing. And then, oh, I didn't get much footage of this room. I lost my footage. This was um, like a little boy's room, even though it's, it's got a big double bed, but it would be like a sort of child age. Um, you'll see more of that at the end when I go through and do a tour. But yeah, unfortunately I lost I hit pause on my recording when I thought I was unpausing it and I paused through this big chunk of recording and I was so annoyed. Oh, there you go. That's what it looks like. That was me doing a little recap after realizing what I did. Um, back into the parents' room now, the main bedroom. Um, originally, again, okay, I had another little plant section here like we had at the front, but I thought, oh no, that's too much. Um, and a bit weird in that little corner. So I thought, oh, we could do like a little, um, little studio space, little get ready space, because you know, I've actually got, I can't remember what they're called, their name, but it's it's a couple of the people from the Get Famous pack um, living in this house. I thought it would be cool to have a little style room, a little styling room. You know, I put that little photo frame up there and I meant to put some photos of the family in there, but I forgot. So um, if you download this, you'll have to pop in some of your own just to give it a little bit of personality there. Um, Going through now and just seeing what little bits and pieces we can use, bit of clutter. 
with um, what packs we were using just to dress it up a little bit, finish up the room because it was looking a bit empty. Um, I also struggled with this room a bit because of the angle and where things were. I wasn't quite sure if the rug needed to be moved, but it does stay there in the end. So now we're doing the deck at the back. Originally I tried to put a pool when I was first building it and it froze the whole game. There's some sort of weird glitch happening with pools and foundations at the moment. Um, but in the end I thought, oh, should I risk it? So I tried it again because I thought we really need some sort of water or pool out there to finish off this build. Um, and it worked, so that was good. We got I just made sort of, it's pretty small, but you know, serves its purpose. I'm um, going through now and trying to decide the colors and what, what did I want to, um, from that perspective. I, I do end up changing the trim and the, well, pretty much all of the colors of that. <laughs> I wasn't happy with it. Uh, and then I thought I need a little section, front section a bit off here. So it's makes it gives the pool its own little area. Um, so I do a little um, corn piece there with a diff different tiling. And then it gave me this little space here where I did a cutout which is perfect for some sun lounges. Um, these debug umbrellas are really cool and I was just looking for the one that's open. I wish they came in more colors, but they're a debug item, so they're pretty limited. And just a little, little table there. And then a little seating area, a little dining area. Um, I do end up moving that because I had a little another little area I wanted to include. Barbecue so that you can entertain out there. Um, yeah, again, okay, here. So this is me moving it, and I thought, oh, this would be really cool. It'd be awesome if we could sink it down in, but it wouldn't have worked with the foundations. It just would have looked funny. So I thought, well, oh, I'll just put um, half walls around it and make it look like it's built in. And then I was still struggling with that, trying to get the angles right. Um, and in the end, I just get rid of that end piece and we go with just having two, um, which I think still works really well. It'd be a nice little spot to come and sit when you're entertaining, like if you've got people over. Um, and then we have another little section over here for where you can you know, sit for if you're entertaining and you want to sit down and eat. Um, and, and it would be such an awesome view, like sitting, imagine sitting there and having breakfast and overlooking um, the entire city. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so just going through and putting some wood paddling, paneling on and adjusting the colors so they match. Um, a few custom planters here just to add a bit of greenery at the back. Didn't want to go over the top because um, there's so much greenery inside. Um, and I think it just would have been a bit too much. So we just went with some custom planters. I'm just using the ones that you can, the plain planters that you put seeds in to grow stuff and then in, um, raising up some plants from the build menu, our build mode. Uh, I decided I wasn't happy with these other little pool markings, so I, th I went with something that was a bit more sort of retro. Um, I don't know if it works in the end, but it's a little, just something a little bit different. Um, and then, because I was adding some color, I thought, oh, I need this to the the tiles on the bottom and the walls to be plainer. So went with a, a white look tile and then I changed those to green. Oh, and then we're skipping, <laughs> skipping ahead. So this is the infant's room. Um, I wanted to, to be able to have the option to go from baby to infant to toddler to a child. So that's all ready to go and you don't have to worry about redoing doing anything. Um, the crib that I put in there, you, your Sims can um, work on that and change it to a toddler bed, um, which was really cool. Uh, and then I, I thought it would be cool to have bunk beds in there so you can have sleepovers um, if he wants to have friends over or something. Uh, and a little, little rocking chair there, so you've got a nice little spot. And then this is a really odd shaped room, so I thought it would be really cool to have the kids' room here and have the bedroom up this end. And then as you go through, and there's that other little section there is more like a little play area. So I put some toys in there and a little like crafting station. Um, I'm squeezing a dollhouse because they're so huge. Like, but I had so much room, which was great. And I remember that I needed to put a potty in. 
We do move it back to the bathroom in the end. Um, and we've got, I do change this around a little bit, but I keep the change table um, and the crib and everything. Yeah, so you can, kids can, your baby can stay, stay in this room all the way through to a child or teenager. And they've got everything they need. But yeah, it was such a, a weird little section that I had left over. Um, and it's kind of in a little bit of a weird spot, but it's kind of the closest bedroom to the main bedroom, uh, which I thought you would want if you're having a, a baby in there. Um, although the parent could sleep in the, in the bug beds, I guess, <laughs> if they wanted to be close by. Uh, going through now and adding some rugs and a bit of a bit, few more play, play, play equipment. And then a bit more lighting, so if you can sneak that one in there. And trying to have a little bit more yellow through the build because that was that kind of our theme. And I didn't go too too over the top with toys and things. I just put a few bits and pieces in because um, I didn't want it to be too cluttered, but it still needed to look child friendly. Um, yeah, a few more little bits and pieces. Nice little. Oh, I've just forgotten what they're called. What do you call those dangly things? We'll just call it a dangly thing. Um, Oh, I do use some curtains in this build, very, very rarely, which occasionally. <laughs> but yeah, you definitely wouldn't want bright light going into on a, on a baby if you're trying to put them down to sleep. Um, these little areas here were really good for popping in some some dresses, um, and these ones, these wardrobes fit in there perfectly. Um, so I thought that worked quite well. And then just a few little more bits and pieces just to finish it off. Still obviously not happy, mm, like fighting with that chair, like <laughs> I want it to be yellow but I want it to be another colour. <laughs> uh, a little bit more colour on the wall there, just to keep it nice and kid friendly. And then now this is a section that's just on the top level, up aside from the young boys room and I thought we could pop a gym in here because it was a good little space. Um, and hadn't included a gym anywhere else. So we've got a couple of treadmills and a workout machine and a punching bag. Um, and the rest is kind of just bits and pieces of decor. Um, but yeah, pretty good size home gym. Some big mirrors there. Again, these guys would have a pretty awesome view looking out. Put that chest of drawers in. I thought, oh, you'd, you'd, you know, you'd keep all your bits and pieces in there, your weights and yoga mats and stuff. And then I went through, I added a hamper in one of them, so now I need to go through and put a hamper in all of the bedrooms Not that we're using um, laundry day, I think. Now we're down onto the, into the secret basement level. So this is the last little section. Um, and there's a, so this whole section is hidden. You have to go through a secret door and come down and there's a bowling alley and then this section over here is their little spy headquarters. Um, so I wanted the computers and um, surveillance equipment and, and stuff like that. So there's, there's double security doors to get through and then down the back there's another safe that you put your extra extra safe belongings in there. Um, and then yeah I almost put these chairs upstairs in the front entrance way but then I saved them and I oh, look so cool down here in the little bowling area. Again, I thought it'd be another little cool area where they, you know, the spies can meet and discuss their plans or whatever. I know it's really silly, but um, that was my thought behind it anyway. Um, so going through now, and I thought because I had used a few bits and pieces of the bowling alley pack upstairs, I thought, well, I might as well go full ham and <laughs> use all of the bowling alley stuff and put a whole bowling alley in and all of the matching bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, okay, so we're doing that now. I managed to fit in three lanes because I thought you can't just have one lane. Like, if you're going to have a secret at bowling alley, you need to have you know, three bare minimum bowling alleys. So just going through now, finishing up the last little bits and pieces. Still struggling with um, color choices here. Some of the the bowling alley stuff is a bit hard to. Um, go through and match because like the orange will only have one sort of metal with it and it, you know you might want that different color and it's got the different tones of woods with it so 
like it's good that there's more colors there but at the same time you, you just want something that matches or that you can vary up you know, going through a little, couple little tables now and then I thought we needed to vary the, the wall textures up a bit so I put like a plain metal in through the secret spy section uh, and then brought the same wood tone that we had upstairs just to make it match a bit more yeah. and then this is that last little section I was telling you about so this is where all the, the good stuff happens um, nice and deep down in the basement hidden away uh, I put a few little of the um, spy desks down in here I don't know like you see in movies there's always like the big screens at the front and all these desks and things uh, and some, some red lights just to you know, make it all fit into the theme um, but this is the the last little bits and pieces I went through and adjusted some of the lighting down here which I think brought it all together I go through and do the the bowling section as well um, but yeah coming coming to the end now of the building process and then we're gonna do a bit of a tour of the whole build um, as I was saying at the start like I was, I was really happy with how it came out such a big build I need to really rein it in and do some smaller builds so that these videos are a bit more consistent um, it's a bit easier to get them out to you guys, but I just, yeah, just get really inspired with um, projects that just seem to be massive. Um, yeah, here we go. So from the front, going up into the entryway, um, I have done a little bit of color grading here, so the colors don't look like a game, but just a bit of effect for the video. Got our main little landing area up there, and we come through, and we've got the little kids room that dude is randomly doing in there <laughs> um, here's the little bathrooms I don't know if I gave you a little shot of those before some of the rocks poke through there but they kind of built into the into the house this is down into the main bedroom uh, this came up quite well this family has like three or four cats <laughs> that they've randomly adopted so you'll see them throughout that's why the door's opening a little bathroom here Simple style, nice little deck at the front, nice on a nice sunny day to sit out there and then come in here, a little bar and this has got to be my favorite part of the build just looking out there. What a view. I mean that glass is absolutely ridiculous and would never work but I think it came together really well. Now going up to the top floor and this is the second bedroom. Um, like teen style bedroom or um, young adult bedroom uh, I don't know why I'm showing you all the bathrooms they all look the same <laughs> um, now we head through and we've got I'm struggling there with the height of the walls of the library and a few little extra bits and pieces on the walls there um, now we're finished in the library and then further along here we've got the uh, young boys room uh, which I think turned out quite well. It's like not too over cluttered. There's still room there if you want to add extra bits and pieces. Um, nice little home gym. Um, so this is up on the gallery now if you want to download it. Uh, my um, user ID is Wobean. So if you search that or if you look up Incredible Mansion, uh, it should come up. Um, yeah, I just love this view. Coming down here in the fountains, just the whole I'll feel of it it's really nice and then down in here a little a little landing spot and into our kitchen um, and through here we've got our main bathroom with the oh sorry mate um <laughs> nice little green tones in there and a massive massive deck out the back pool area to chill out to watch see the views uh, this little entertaining area someone has kindly left some hot dogs there to go rotten just for the video thanks a lot <laughs> why do they always do that um i didn't show but i went through and put lots of lighting everywhere so that at night time it's it's all lit up nice and then if we head around this side and it's we go into the other um, back entrance it's a little hallway the rocks built in and then we're going down into the secret section now struggling down the stairs we've got our little little meeting space and then the, the bowling alleys looks quite, which came together really well with changing the lighting and then in here the final little section uh, little spy area 
Um, but thanks for joining me for the video. If you've made it this far, <laughs> it's been a long one. Um, but yeah, we'll be back um, hopefully next week with another video. But yeah, thanks for hanging out and I will see you later. Thanks guys. Bye.